Hi, my name is Aiden Hudson, and welcome to MHS News. Today I'm here with... Larry Tucker. I've got some questions for you. Uh, so firstly, could you explain your background at Marist High School, like your high school life? My background. So I uh, went to grammar school in Columbus, Ohio. When I finished eighth grade, my parents moved here to Oak Lawn and uh, chose to go to Marist High School. Myself and my brother transferred in as a sophomore, and I went here for four years, graduated in 1979, had a great experience, played basketball here, was kind of mm. my extracurricular, was on the student council for two years. I hear that for basketball, you actually tried out for the NBA. How did that go? Uh, well, I'm here in this role, so uh, <laughs> not as well as I wanted to. Uh, I went to Lewis University to play basketball. I always had a dream as a kid that I wanted to play in the NBA. Kind of held on to that dream. Thought I had a decent career at Lewis, but it was a Division II school. Ah. Uh, I got drafted um, in 1983, way back, and uh, went to Cleveland and tried out for about 10 days and uh, got cut. Mm. So, well, going back to Maris High School, what was your favorite teacher? I I'll tell you, I had an economics teacher that you might know, Brother Rich Grenier. Oh, uh, Brother Arnold Rich was guy. great. I had another brother, Jerry Doherty, who taught me American legal systems. It was a great class. He it was it was a great class. He gave just practical examples of um, of just the law and things that kids, high school kids, should know about the law. And hmm. and he made the class fun. I had a I had another brother, Brother Frank Kelly, who was a religion teacher that. You walked in, you didn't know what was going to happen in class, but it, he, it was a blast. Um, I, I, had, I had a number of good teachers. If you could tell your freshman year self something about now, what would it be? Wow. Uh, oh, that's a good question, Aiden. <laughs> I, I did not start to really become goal-centered as a person until I was maybe a junior, junior year at Marist. Hmm. So I just kind of came into Marist my freshman year and tried to survive the day. Hmm. And I always say, you know, when you approach your days of school, do you try and survive or are you trying to thrive? And I wish I would have thought more about trying to thrive and hmm. set goals of, of a certain GPA or, or whatever it is or work harder at like something like the game of basketball. I thought I worked hard, but I probably could have worked harder. And I think goals would have helped me uh, do that. So I become very goal centered. So when I talk to freshmen at freshman orientation, I usually tell them, you know, uh, write your goals out, put them right in front of you every day so you see them, because I think that drives your decision making then. Hmm. Did you think that you'd come back and eventually end up as president of the school? Never. <laughs> no, principal, president, I said, and I, my story is, I don't know, different from, uh, you know, not too different maybe from a lot of people. Um, I wasn't like the, in the top 10 of my class. You know, here we have 476 uh, people who graduated my senior year. Um, I probably was around 200 if I had to, you know, rate hmm. where I was um, in terms of my class rank. Um, so I'm sitting there at graduation. If somebody would have tapped me on the shoulder and said, someday you'll be up giving the speech at graduation or you'll be hmm. shaking hands when people come across, I would never have thought that that would have happened. And, you know, I just feel like God has a path for you. You don't know what it is. You just kind of keep plugging away and things fall into place the way they're supposed to. Hmm. Uh, could you... Let me know a little bit about your plans moving forward for Marist. Uh, it's a good question. Um, I think there's a number of things that we're talking about and working on. One of them uh, came out of our last strategic plan about creating space, more space for our students. And uh, so we're kind of undergoing this transformation over at Payless Courts uh, where we bought that facility. Um, uh, at the end of August, we technically closed on it. and. That is to create space, you know, mm. for for our kids from a student welfare standpoint. And I say that because, you know, right now in the gyms there are volleyball teams that are going on and and practicing. And so if you're getting ready for an upcoming season, winter sports, boys and girls basketball, let's say, and you want to condition, you kind of have to wait to get into a gym till maybe five o'clock. So then you're you're sitting around after school, you got to get five to seven o'clock, maybe you have an open gym, you get home by 7.30, mm -hmm. you got to take a shower, you got to eat dinner, now you got to do some more homework or whatever. It doesn't have a lot of family time for you and you're not even in season yet. Um, so we said if we had another space instead of kids running in hallways and, and mm -hmm. those types of things, maybe they could go over and have an open gym right after school, you know, 
you know, various teams can get conditioning in uh, in their off season and preparation. Baseball, softball starts in the winter. You're not going to go outside in the winter. So, uh, Payless Course has become a big um, component of ours, and we're in the process of a capital campaign and looking to have donors pay for it. We never want to turn around and, and put this now on our own parents. But um, and our donors have been very generous. When we built the science wing, it was the same way. Well, I actually got some questions from other students that I gathered over the week. So first question, how tall, like, officially are you? Oh, officially? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I've been measured in uh, years, but uh, I'm 6'6", six, six, and I'm just going to say this because I say everybody thinks I'm tall. I always say I'm the shortest in my family. <laughs> um, I have two other brothers. I'm 6'6", six, six, my younger brother six 6'7", my older brother six 6'8", so mm. uh, my dad was 6'5", uh, is where we got the height, and uh, so I was always the little one in the family when Another we would get together. Another question would be, did you fake the moon landing? Did I fake the moon landing? No, I believe that actually happened. <laughs> Could you strike a pose for the camera for the thumbnail? Is that what we're doing? I mean, yeah, why not? <laughs> What's the biggest issue that you believe is at our school? Biggest issue? Or uh, that you plan to solve? plan to solve. Yeah. I think the biggest issue is keeping Catholic education affordable. Hmm. Um, and student, you know, when I was a student at Marist High School, I knew nothing about the tuition. I just knew it cost something to go here. My parents handled all that. So I wasn't really involved in that. I don't know how many students even know how much it costs or anything like that, but the parents clearly do. Um, and I think as the economy continues to change, more and more families hmm. need financial help. So. I think in my role between fundraising, you know, and looking at our costs, trying to keep this place running on a budget that, that makes sense, um, that we can do all the things that we want to do, but yet uh, allow parents to be able to afford it. And um, that's, I think, that's not just big for Marist High School. I think it's big for anybody, especially mm -hmm. when there's some, depending on where you live, some public school choices out there that they're free. Hmm. Uh, last question. In a one-on-one -on -one against LeBron James, do you think you could beat him? Better question. Do you think you could dunk on him? Uh, I don't think I could dunk on him at uh, I'm 61 <laughs> years old. I don't think uh -huh. I think my dunking days are kind of behind me. Um, no, I would say this. I would compete. <laughs> um, he might kill me, but I would compete. I would tell you that. <laughs> Well, that's about it for MHS Behind the Camera. My name is Aiden Hudson, and this is Larry Tucker. See you.